Hello. Someone asked me to do a review of Deadpool and Wolverine because I just got out of the, the movie theater. And as a movie expert, because you know I am, because I don't like the Lord of the Rings, there goes 95% of the viewers, I can only recommend you go watch this movie. This is the kind of movie I like to watch when I have a day off. It's, it's a superhero movie. It's not a movie where you have to sit and think for hours about, oh, there was this little thing and that little thing. No, it's a straight up linear story, of course, with all the Deadpool flashbacks that you always get. I would say this is on par with Deadpool 1. The humor's there. The adult themes are there. You uh, probably won't bring your younger children to see it. But if you like movies, if you like me, and I'm an old fart, if you like movies from, like, canon movie, where you just watch the movie, saw a lot of bad guys not being there anymore, had a lot of humor, yes, humor that uh, mostly were in the belt area, you will like this movie. There's not as many normal side characters as in the two other Deadpool movies. This is more to kind of round off a lot of the 20th Century Fox's Marvel Universe. There's a lot of cameos in this one. There is a lot of funny little tidbits with Wolverine characters. But overall... This feels like a good send-off for a lot of characters. It feels like a, a great movie. It kind of have a little bit of the dark side from Logan, but not as heavy-handed as it was in Logan. If you watch that movie, great movie, recommend it. But this is the kind of movies I like to watch on a Sunday. This is what I would call a popcorn flick. Two hours, entertainment, jokes, beating up bad people. Not a story that uh, you will have to sit and discuss with your friends the next 20 years to try and figure out what did they mean by that. No, this is a superhero movie by the numbers. We start here, we end here, and you have a good time going that distance. I would recommend going to the movies if you need a break. If you want to Go away, put your phone away, stay away from uh, the internet because this is a you'll be entertained for two hours. It's not a, a, a masterpiece, it's a Marvel movie, it's a superhero movie. I would put it seven and a half, eight out of ten. It's on par with the first Deadpool movie. That's not as much world building, but it's because it's number three. It's way better than what I have seen other people talking about because I haven't really watched any of the Marvel on the Disney Channel. There's not uh, as much of uh, the message in it as you see it in uh, Black Widow and stuff like that. This is a movie. You'll just go into it and you'll enjoy yourself if you like superhero movies. It's superhero action, superhero action, Little talk, little talk, superhero action, superhero action, talk, talk, super. It just works. It's the kind of movies I would recommend if you just want to have a night out, either with your buddies or with your significant other, and they like these kind of movies. It's a good popcorn flick. It's not a movie that, uh, like Lord of the Rings, that people will discuss 10 years, past, uh, 10 years down the road. But it's a good movie. And uh, it's the kind of movies I have missed, an action movie, a stupid 80s action movie where it's just about having fun, whooping some uh, behind, and just telling a, a simple story without all of this, oh, we have to figure out 25 th different things. There's a bad guy, some good guys, and they're going to fix a problem. I like this movie. I would uh, I would rate it 
it very high in in the entire MCU universe, especially because there's a lot of fourth wall breaking where they kind of makes fun of Disney and the choices Disney Disney have made with the MCU. So uh, if you like popcorn movies, if you like two hours of not thinking about too much, if you like a lot of uh, the old superhero stuff before Marvel started, you would uh, you would have a good time watching it. That's that's what I think. But go watch it, give it a chance, then uh, take your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever to the movie theater. Leave your kids at home and go enjoy two hours of nothing else but a good action flick. It uh, Baker's approve of this movie.